Hello, 20-somethings. My name is Matt, and we are here with Keith and Amelia, and we're going to be playing a game called Word Sneak. I'm not. They're going to. This game is based on the Jimmy Fallon game. Each guest will be given five words each that they must try and fit into a conversation as casually as possible. Each guest now must then fit the word into the conversation, be see sneaky, be casual, be... So, Keith, I was thinking the other day, like, about all the movies we've made during our time together, and I was thinking about Shotgun Wedding. You know what's really weird was that time we filmed on the train, but it w never left the station. That was true. I was a conductor in that movie. You were a conductor. Yeah. It was, I was really kind of bummed because, um, you know, there was no movement on that train, but luckily we could, like, put it in post. Yeah, Have you, was... you go on the train a lot, Keith? Uh, sometimes I go on the train, and you know who I never take on the train with me? No. My step-grandfather. <laughs> I never take him on the train. You know why? Because why? he's, he's uh, a mason. They're usually alcoholics, I've heard. Is he like a whiskey guy? No, he's like, he use, makes bricks. Yeah, I know, but that's like a profession brick. that's known for being an alcoholic. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. He usually uses a hammer and a chisel and um, grout. Does the chisel to like, you know, like adjust the thickness of the bricks or? I'm not really sure um, what he does with that, but he does uh, like to use that hammer a lot. Does he sell what he makes? Does he have an online store? He doesn't have an online store, but he does have a gorilla. What's he feed that gorilla nowadays? Like you can't get, go to the store and buy like gorilla food. Like does he just make him some tuna or is it just bread or oranges? He usually, he usually feeds the gorilla um, small kindergarten children. Those are always around the neighborhood. Are they on bikes, scooters, you know, maybe they're in a motorcycle sidecar. Well, they're, they're home a lot because of the virus. Right, right, right. So can they are around, yeah. especially he can find them when he's standing on the roof with a chimney. It's really good when the small child that he wants to feed the gorilla has narcolepsy because then the child cannot even, doesn't even know that he's being used for food because he's asleep. You know, it's a real shame that that kid's never gonna grow up and know how to use spreadsheets, you know? That's a real important skill and he's never even gonna get the chance. Well, you know, the other day when the Mason, my step-grandfather, obviously, yeah, Mason, obviously. Um, was up on my roof fixing mm -hmm. my chimney, he fell off the roof and the yeah. only thing that actually saved him was he grabbed on to the American flag that's hanging next to my garage. Very patriotic landing. I bet he stuck that landing real nice. He did. And it really helped because he, without the flag, he would have landed on his hammer. Hammer in the wrong place can be, you know. Especially yeah. to the pointy side. That's, I'm just so glad he's okay, you know. All right. Is that, did we do all the words? I did all mine. Yeah, you did all the words. <laughs> so what, what were, does, Matt, can you even, do you even know what the words were? No. What were your words, Amelia? Um, I had sidecar. Spread, I bet you spreadsheets was one of them. Yeah, sidecar, spreadsheet, tuna, thickness, and whiskey. Okay. And what were mine, you think? Uh, step-grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, no. Uh, hammer? Chimney? Hammer. Step-grandfather. Not chimney? Nope. American flag? Flag was one. Okay. Narcolepsy. Oh, yes. That, and, how could... And gorilla. <laughs> yes, yes. I feel like you did a really good job getting yours in, in like... <laughs> Uh, mine were very hard to like get in there in an easy way. Mm. Well, I almost messed it up because at first I was like sidecar, like that's with trains. And I was like, no, no, it's not. So <laughs> I kind of took us in the wrong direction. I was like, yeah. well, I like how you said my step grandfather, Masons are alcoholics. Now all the Masons are going to write into us now because you were anti Mason. I just want to uh, help them, you know, people need help. All right. That was fun. Yeah. All right. On great. that note, on that note, let's wrap this up. Okay. Thank you, Amelia, and thank you, Keith, for participating. And Thanks next for week, having me. Next week, we're going to have some new people. Maybe. I don't really know. I don't know the format. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, so you don't get fined? Why? For going outside? Uh, something along the lines of that. Yes.
you know, it's dangerous out there. They have like RoboCops and everything. Or I might have just watched the movie RoboCop. I'm unsure. But follow us on all our platforms Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, 20 somethings TV. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a, leave a fun comment. That dude, uh, what's his name? Paul? Tom. Is that his name? Tom. Tom's leaving some nice comments right now. We need more people like Tom. Thank you and see you guys later. Bye.